opening the box you'll find a, a number of pieces that you need to be aware of. One is the 1-800-HELPLINE. If you ever have a problem you're welcome to call us. We'll be happy to assist you in any way of trying to get your product put together and uh, making sure all the parts are there and it goes together as smoothly as it should. When you open the box you'll have the instruction manual. Our instruction manuals are done in both Spanish and in English. As you unpack the box, you'll have your ceiling fans. You have two options, generally on all ceiling fans, a light and a dark option. You have your canopies, your mounting bracket, your down rod, most importantly, your pack. Your pack will have all of your parts in it. It has your plate iron screws, your pulls, and additional wire nuts. In this particular fan, it does come with a light kit, but that will be in step two on how to install the light kit. Then you have your blade irons. The first step in putting the fan together is assembling the blade to the blade irons. In your parts packet, you have your screws with the washers. Open your pack and assemble two screws and washers together making sure that the screw and washer is between the blade iron and the blade. Once you have your screws and your washers ready, you select which side of the blade that you want to use and then attach the blade iron to the blade, like so. Using your blade and washer, the washer goes again between the screw and the blade. Once you have all three in place, you tighten them down firmly like so. So now you have a complete assembly of the blade and the blade iron. The next process after doing your blade irons and your blades is putting the down rod onto the fan. The fan comes with many features, safety features. One is the safety pin. It has to be removed from the fan first before putting the down rod in. Also you have to back out the safety screws. This also helps in keeping the fan balanced and the down rod firmly in place. Once you've backed those out, you put your down rod in, run your wires through the pipe. Line up your holes. Push the pin through and put the safety clip back in. At this time now you need to tighten up your screws to keep your down rod from moving. This is very important in keeping the fan balanced. Once you have it in place, you tighten it down firmly. Next, your canopy slides over. Then your hanging ball. Also in your hanging ball is a safety pin. It's very important that it's in place. Put your safety pins in place. You slide your ball up. The ball will only accept the safety pin in one position. Once that's done, you set your screw. The next step in prepping the motor to be hung is to remove the shipping chucks. These chucks are in place to hold the motor from bouncing around during shipment. These are the little rubber chucks that you see here. Simply take these motor screws out. You'll need these motor screws to put the blades back onto the fan motor. This is what they look like. You simply remove your nut from your shipping chuck. As you can see, the fans do come with a safety label asking you to remove these. The next step is finally mounting your fan to the ceiling. Using your ceiling bracket, make sure that the rubber pads are in place. They need to go between the bracket and the mounting surface. This will cut down on humming, wobble, or any, of, any other kinds of noises. Once you have the bracket into place, you take your assembled down rod and fan and motor and you set it into place. Each one of these fans has a notch in the ball so it'll lock itself into place. So once you get it set into place, you turn it, it'll fall into place. This keeps the fan from torquing. 
The next step is assembling the blades, blade irons to the motor housing. Please make sure when you install your blades to your motor housings that the ceiling fan is hung. So as you can see here, we've already installed four out of the five blades. Please make sure that you use, always use on a five blade fan the outside ring. All of our fans come with a gasket already on the motor. This is used to help keep vibration down. So once you've got it in place, you put your blade iron on. Making sure that the screws are firmly tightened. 